She is the better parent. I've been a parent for a long time. I ain't getting no better at it. <laughs> I threatened one of my kids with a mission trip the other day. <laughs> Some of you parents have thought of that. I will send you to Nigeria, pal. I promise you. You're gonna learn some patience one way or another. So you have a smart mouth. You're wearing a loincloth. Running around the forest of Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Terrible parent. I don't have the tools to be a good parent, you know? I don't have a good whistle. My dad used to have a good, intimidating whistle. He'd call you in six blocks away. He'd run, other people's kids would run to my house. I just don't have that. You kids, get in here now! You think I'm joking? Right now! My kids won't come. I have dogs and taxi cabs lined up in front of my house. Try to be cool. I'm not a cool dad. I'm not a cool person at all. It's hard to be cool in your 40s. I used to go to cool places, go to cool parties, meet with cool people. Now all I do is walk around my house and turn off lights. That's what I do. That's my job. Turn off lights wearing black socks and boxers, wearing a snuggie, carrying a can of whipped cream with me. Now yell at nobody. Turn them off! Your body doesn't let you. You ever get up from a nap too quick off the couch, almost pass out? You ever do that? Anymore? Oh, I need to try that again. I want to get close. I need to get some blood going to the legs. Give me some whipped cream. I do. Out of shape. I, I grunt. For things I didn't used to grunt for. I grunt when I get out of chairs. He's like, Daddy, can we have your help? Yeah, this is I'm like, what was that? Would you just climb out of a well? I was a lazy boy. <laughs> you guys, I'm hearing some of this for the first time too. That's pretty funny. I don't need oxygen, I just need a whipped cream can. <laughs> oh, gosh. I am the laziest father ever. I said this to one of my kids one time. Look, you come upstairs when I text you. Do you understand? <laughs> you, you run away. I will unfriend you, pal. I will unfriend you. <laughs> I do. That's how you that's how you threaten my kids. You take their technology away. Think about it, parents, kids, that's all they know is technology. They were, they were raised in it. Nobody uses crayons anymore. It's on the computer. Remember crayons? I love crayons. Remember first day of school, box of 100 crayons? Colors you didn't even know existed. <laughs> Buffalo spleen, morning cough. You remember those colors? <laughs> Just one called. <clears throat> That's all it was called. Remember that? Damn it! <clears throat> <Are> you, <clears throat> give me that one. <clears throat> I'll give you the. <clears throat> <laughs> remember our old art supplies we used to use? They don't use them anymore. Tongue depressors and cotton balls and sugar cubes and paste. You remember paste? Oh, it was delicious. You remember paste? Was it? Take a Ritz cracker. It was like a pate for a five-year-old. It's fascinating. It's like Paula Deen right here in this bucket. Oh my gosh! You just take away their technology. It freaks them out. Oh, my daughter, she's addicted to it. Said, Daddy, I want an iPad. I want an iPhone. I want a laptop the size of a futon. It's like Veruca Salt from Willy Wonka. Daddy, I want it now, Daddy. No. That's who I am to you, Dr. No. I'm giving you the gift of no. Can I have this, Daddy? No. Can I go over there? No. How about this? Well, what's that behind your ear? No. The David Copperfield would know. <laughs> I took my daughter's cell phone away the other day. Oh my gosh, they did the trick. <laughs> I haven't seen her chin in a month, man. <laughs> I, 
took her cell phone away. That was a trick. Oh, it devastated her. It was so awesome. <laughs> she was like one of those pathetic puppies on the Humane Society commercial. <laughs> on Sunday morning. I, I clip my toenails on airplanes, people. I don't care. I drink straight from the milk jug when I'm at other people's houses. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't give a rip. I take it. Don't say it if you don't mean it. Make yourself at home. Oh, I will. I'll drink your milk. I'll rearrange your furniture. I'll run on your treadmill wearing your yoga pants, you freak. I'm not here to impress. This is the body I got. I work out. This is as good as I can do. <laughs> you know? This is good. And I'm the same guy in my 40s. That's the thing. It's not fair. I'm the same guy in my 40s as I was in my 20s and 30s. There's only a few differences. Gained a few pounds. My hair's a little thinner. And my nipples point sideways. <laughs> horse's eyes. That's the only difference. I'm ashamed to admit it. I'm a Christian man with nipples, and they are going east to west, ladies and gentlemen. They don't even care about each other anymore. I lay on my back, they touch each other behind me. It's ridiculous. I mean, I'm awesome right up to here. I'm awesome right up to here. Then it just goes to pot all the way down to the belly button. And when you get in your 40s, there's no button there anymore. Call it what it is, a gut hole. That's what it is. Cavernous, I'm afraid to look in there. What's gonna be in there? A Chilean miner living in there? A couple of Duggar kids? I don't know what I'm gonna find. Get my stomach hole. I can't. I can't. Can't wear cool clothes. You guys have big sporting goods here? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I went to Dick's Sporting Goods the other day, and I bought I, I bought one of those Under Armour T-shirts, <laughs> sleep workout shirts that shows every contour of your body. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm an idiot. I mean, it looks so good on the mannequin. I just I didn't even try it on. I just bought it and took it home. I tried it on in front of the mirror. I'm like. It's like I was smuggling a family of woodchucks in my <laughs> My daughter walks in, Daddy! I <laughs> she calls 911. There's a woodchuck in my father! Get over here! <laughs> Daddy, it's Taylor! That's my chest hair. Shut your mouth. <laughs> Shut the door. <laughs> Gazelle, sweetheart. <laughs> Woodchuck. It's not fair. <laughs> Can't eat what you want to eat. Look, I am the man of the house, okay? It's like you get old enough that you can afford food, you ain't supposed to eat it. You know what I'm talking about, man. Look, we are the man. I am the man of the house, okay? I pay the bills, I take care of business. I'm the man. So why? Do I have to hide in a corner of my laundry room to eat a stinking bowl of Lucky Charms? Why do I have to do that? You can't, you can't, you can't. Oh. Hurry up, I hear footsteps. Hurry up! My wife breaks in. Why are you eating Lucky Charms? Because they're magically delicious! <laughs> Don't you read the book? Fair. 
McDonald's is not fair. It's just so good. McDon Kids, you think McDonald's is good now? Wait till you're bored. It's unbelievable. I'm telling you, why is McDonald's so good? I think they use MSG. I think they're using crack. This is ridiculous. It's impossible. You can't. It's too tempting. What are they using in it? You ever go through the, the drive-thru at McDonald's, you try to psych yourself up and order something healthy? You can't do it. You know, I'm gonna get a grilled chicken salad and a bottle of water. Grilled chicken salad and a bottle of water. Grilled, can I help you? Yeah, give me a number one biggie size with some gravy on it, a couple of cinnamon rolls and a defibrillator and a doctor's appointment. Can you hook up a fire hose to the shake machine and blow it in my car when I drive by? Just fill her up, please! Oh, and a Diet Coke. I need that, too. You know what I'm saying? Because that's good. The fizzy water is going to make it all better. It's going to eat up all the bad food. Oh, my gosh. I'm not here to impress anybody anymore. That's it. That's what I got. I know, lady. I got, I'm, I'm hot. I'm hot. I know. I read your Christian thoughts. I know what's going on. So a little eye candy. I know, ladies. I'm a Jolly Rancher with legs. Don't get me wrong. God is good. God is good. Some people call me the Space Cowboy. Some call me the Gangster Love. Some people call me Maurice. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, my friends are like, dude, you need to work on your cage, man. You need to work on your core. You need to work on your core. <laughs> What am I, an apple? <laughs> See, that's the thing. I want to eat more than I want abs, you know? <laughs> I'll work on my abs when I'm chewing. I'll just bear down. <laughs> but I need this. This is what I need. I'm I need every bit of this, all right? I'm gonna, I got three boys. This is not fat when you got three boys. This is protective padding. <laughs> They're coming at you. It hurts. It's MMA every day in my house. <laughs> Little girls are awesome. My daughter, the only thing with girls is you can't keep up with them when they tell a story. It's always too fast. They get on Facebook and Facebook and say Facebook and Facebook. Do you need a box? <laughs> Little boys. You ever notice those little boys when they would tell a story? It's always slow motion. Like, Dad, this kid was like. I need protective padding. It's like my three boys. It's weird. It's a paradox. As my as my boys get younger, the pain gets worse. My oldest boy, my oldest boy's 16. He, he's he's lift the weights. He's got muscles. He's big. When we wrestle, I have to try. I know I'm not saying good job. I'm tapping out. I'm telling your mom. I didn't have to do that, honey. He was driving me. I couldn't breathe. No, you did. You didn't have to go to your room. <laughs> Why didn't you come? I whistled for you. Why didn't you come? <laughs> My 16 year old comes in the kitchen the other day. Hey, Dad, let me punch you in the arm. See if you can take it. <laughs> like an idiot. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> Did you feel that? <laughs> My dad felt that, you moron. The contacts flew out when you hit me. <sighs> Did I feel that? The pants fell down. <laughs> My 11 year old, he comes in the other day and he's got something in his hand. So what's up? He said, hey dad, um, let me show you with my airsoft gun. <laughs> I didn't know what an airsoft gun was. But I was about to find out. <laughs> airsoft, that sounds like a nerf gun, doesn't it? It's like, go ahead, I right? <laughs> 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 What is that going? 2,000 feet?
feet per second. That's pretty impressive. Nothing airy or soft about that bad boy right there. Should have called it the welt maker. Daddy would have said no. Air soccer. Who, who, who named this thing? The only thing airy or soft is the cloud you ride up to heaven after taking a kill shot to the neck from one of these demon dots. Air soft gun. It's a pellet going the speed of light, you idiot. Air soft. You shoot through an oil tanker with it. Call him a witch up the thing. Air soft. But the worst. The worst is the little guys. No. Because you know it's coming. <laughs> but you don't know when. <laughs> is it coming? Oh, it's coming. It's coming fast and hard. And the reason it hurts so bad is because you don't know it is. You're just not expecting it because they're just so sweet. I was giving my little guy a kiss the other night. I was hugging him. He was stroking my beard. Daddy. Daddy. You got a beard? Daddy. Beard. I do. I like a beard, Daddy. Yeah. Is that a nose hair? Oh. <laughs> I think it was. <laughs> Are you crying, Daddy? No, I, I just tasted blood in my neck. <laughs> I don't know, nose hairs were connected to the brainstem. That's an interesting thing. <laughs> he pulled at my foot, but like that. That's what happened. <laughs>